On this episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures, we'll join Alan Boyer, owner of one of the oldest family-owned gun stores in America, on his quest for a doll sheep in the Yukon. Hailing from Slatington, Pennsylvania, Alan arranged his sheep hunt with Steve's Outdoor Adventures. After the hunt, Alan invited our cameras into his gun store to learn more about the history of his business and the steps he took in preparing for his hunt. We're hunting the doll rams of the Yukon on another exciting episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. I'm Steve West, professional hunting consultant, and these are my adventures. Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Burris Optics, Remington, Stormcloth 2, Scope Coke, Western Medical, Montana Decoy Company, and by TheHunter.com. We have a special father and son show for you this week. We sent cameraman Larry Billet to the Yukon to film Alan Boyer on his quest for a dull sheep in one of the best pure trophy areas in all of North America. Alan Boyer contacted our office about booking a sheep hunt where he could be accompanied by his teenage son, Abel, and the Yukon was the perfect adventure destination. They will venture into some of North America's most rugged terrain and work together with their guide to bring home one of North America's most prized trophies, a dull ram from the Yukon. Alan Boyer's story is an interesting one. Besides being an accomplished worldwide hunter, Alan is the owner of AF Boyer Hardware and Guns in Slatington, Pennsylvania. The store was founded by his great-great-grandfather, Abel Boyer, in 1868. Alan is the fifth generation owner of the family business, and AF Boyer Hardware is one of the oldest gun stores in America today. Uh, we started in 1868. It was an AF Boyer that was Abel and Henry Boyer. There were two brothers. And since then, it has progressed through our family 141 years later. And I have a son named Abel also. Uh, it would be the fifth generation in our family. We're one of the oldest hardware store gun shops in America that's continually running um, under the same family name. Uh, another big part of our store is fundraising. We help out Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, the NRA, Safari Club, Turkey Federation. And that's a very big part of our store is, is giving back to the organizations that keep our sport of conservation and hunting going. Alan Boyer's sheep hunting adventure began with his arrival in Whitehorse to meet his guide, Philip Smith. Hey, Philip. Alan. Nice to meet you. Alan Boyer. Abel. Nice to meet you. Abel. I'm Phil Smith. Welcome to Horse Camp. Nice we'll place. In, we'll go inside here and get your gear put away. Tomorrow we'll head for head out here tonight and have a look around and see if we can walk around. I'm sure they're up there. Come on in, good. You got it. Thank you. Philip is a man of few words, but he knows sheep. And after settling his clients in camp, he helps Alan check the zero on his rifle in preparation for his hunt. Oh, I see both. About three inches high, dead center, and the other one was just to the right of the black. Right there. Okay. Three inches high at 100, right where it should be. They were shooting right on it too, so. Target practice at 107, we were three inches high. Very good. Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return, Alan and Abel Boyer begin their hunt for doll sheep in the Yukon. 
This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Granger's. In addition to lots of unavoidable vertical footwork, Alan Boyer's sheep hunt will begin with a boat ride up a small river winding along the valley floor as he glasses for sheep in the mountains above. The trip allows the hunters to glass several mountain faces in search of the trophy ring. As years go by in your life, you, ha you have different dreams. And uh, as a hunter, some of your dreams are different animals that you'd like to pursue. Uh, one, one of your greatest ones is, was a doll sheep, uh, a costly hunt. But as you get older, you have enough money, you saved up, and you can go on it. So that's, that's what this, this hunt was uh, a big decision to go on. And I've been on other hunts alone, which I truly didn't enjoy very much. So I asked my son if he would go with me on this hunt. And uh, his name's Abel. He said, yes, I will, Dad. And I, uh, I looked for some of the preeminent uh, outfitters out there because you want to go with somebody very good because you hopefully don't have to go two and three times. So I found uh, the Steve's Outdoors Adventures and spoke to Steve, and that got the ball rolling. Uh, you have numerous correspondence back and forth till you're comfortable with uh, this man and his outfit, and I felt very comfortable. Uh, so we booked the hunt, and my son and I went on this hunt. It was very physical, <laughs> is the best way of putting it. However, I'm in good shape. My boy's 15. We, we hiked a lot, and we got in very good shape. We were ready for the hunt. Alan's first climb resulted in an encounter with lots of sheep. The big question was how they were going to get to them. Now the easy part's over, I guess we'll... Head straight back here and climb up there. Feet out on top and see what's up there. About a mile away, huh? Yep. Pretty much a mile up straight uphill. Straight too. uphill. You can get to some of them, but those four real high ones. I'll we'll do a lot of switch back. Yeah. <coughs> On the first stalk we went out, the day was beautiful. We went out, looked, we found sheep, and we got relatively close to them within maybe a half mile to a mile. After spotting a band of rams on the mountain above, the vertical ascent began in an effort to get close enough to judge the rams for trophy quality. Unfortunately, the closer you get to the top of a mountain, the steeper it gets. And the last push always seems to be the most difficult. shape for being a flatlander, not up here in the mountains. Uh, pretty cool to see uh, probably somewhere around 20 some sheep right now in front of us. Four rams and the rest are lambs and ewes. Closest ones are around 
maybe eight, nine hundred yards away, and then the Rams are another half mile further, at least a mile, a mile and a half away. But we had good weather. It's, uh, the hiking's hard, without a doubt. But other than that, what a trip, incredible. Sitting on the top of the world with my son. What do you say, Gabe? It's harder than I thought it would be. But getting all the way up here, it's definitely worth it to see all this. Four. One's barely legal. One other one has incredible mass, comes out real wide, but uh, way too young. He's going to be a monster in a few years. I guess this is the way it looks like the first day is going to end, unless we have some uh, some some new brands walking. With no close shooters on the mountain to stalk, the hunters work their way down the mountain, calling it a day. Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return, Alan Boyer gets his shot at a trophy ram in the Yukon.